Hey guys, and welcome back to Journey with Sonia. I hope everybody is doing well. Alhamdulillah, I am doing fine. This video is going to be another cook with me tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to make some turkey meat balls. Okay, so what you're going to do is very simple is you're going to take some ground turkey and you can season it however you like. I season mine with some garlic, some salt, and some pepper. And you're going to make meatballs. Now, if you choose to, you can add in some breadcrumbs which i did you make the meatballs and then you add your breadcrumbs on top and i'm choosing to cook mine in the toaster oven so i'm gonna use these for lunch dinner tomorrow also i'm gonna cut one up and put it in my eggs in the morning i love meal prepping meal prepping has really helped me with my weight loss journey so i started doing intermittent fasting i fast from 4 p.m till about 10 a.m in the morning and yeah it really does help me so basically i only eat two meals so breakfast and lunch and in between that i will have a cup of green tea so what i'm gonna do is after these meat balls cook i will flip them and then i will create like take some put them into a pot which is over here the pot my pot i will add some vegetable oil and i will cook them in the sauce Let me show you the sauce I'm going to use. So this is the taco sauce. I'm going to use, this is the Orida taco sauce, thick and smooth. This is delicious. I put this, uh, this is from Walmart, by the way. I put this on my eggs this morning and I made like my usual egg omelet and cheese wrap with my cup of green tea. And this was delicious. Now that the timer went off on the meatballs let me show you how they look like so this is how the meatballs look as you can see they are not cooked yet so i'm just moving them around making sure that they cook properly again this is very simple this is just ground turkey breadcrumbs and a 
with it? No eggs? Nothing. Okay. And now, as you can see, they have a little bit of color on them. They look good. So we're gonna put them back into the oven. We're gonna spray a little more cooking spray on top. Wanna make sure that you create enough distance between the cooking the meatball so you want to make sure that you take this is the cooking spray that i'm using butter flavored you can use any kind of cooking spray if you have a uh, coconut flavored that would work too but this is just plain jane walmart brand Okay, while the while I flip the meatballs and while they're cooking for the second time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pot, which I already showed you guys, and we're gonna add in a little bit of vegetable oil. Just a little bit not too much about that much A little bit to get it warm. This is the pot I'm using. another look at the meatballs they look super yummy they look really good guys and then again this is the, the kind of sauce i'm going to be using it's, it's taco sauce so what i'm going to do is after the meatballs finish cooking i'm going to add them to the pot and i'm going to add in some of the taco sauce a little bit like a teaspoon maybe and it's gonna taste really really yummy and I'm gonna have a couple meatballs tonight for dinner maybe three and then I'm gonna have the rest eat them put them in a container and eat them for tomorrow and next day How's everybody doing today? I've had a pretty good day. I just got home from the gym. It is about 3.30 p.m. here, 3.23. So yeah, I've had a pretty good day. Finished college, so that's a plus. So yeah.
just trying to brown these off, cook them off a little bit. Just so that way I get rid of that rawness. Because nobody likes an uncooked meatball. At least I don't. Now, if you weren't doing keto, you could do this with rice. You could do this with pasta. You can use cauliflower rice. I do have a little bit of cauliflower rice left over, so I think I'm going to eat mine with that. While the meatballs are finished cooking, I'm going to grab my leftover cauliflower rice. And some mushrooms that I picked up yesterday. Picked up yesterday from Walmart. rice this is just plain cauliflower rice with some salt pepper garlic and some other spices I use ground garlic I put ground garlic in everything so I'm gonna add some cooking spray to the bottom of the pot pan Look at these gorgeous meat bowls. So simple, so delicious, right guys? Look how simple. I think they can go for a woman time because like I said, I wanna make sure that they are cooked. So we're gonna put them in there for one more time. last time we're gonna add just a touch more cooking spray just a touch okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to make my cauliflower rice cauliflower rice is one of those vegetables that if you don't season it doesn't taste good. So what I'm gonna do is I turn on the cauliflower rice. I'm gonna slice up. The mushrooms are already sliced up. So I'm just gonna clean them with a napkin. Grab a napkin. Mushrooms to me are like the best vegetable ever. Mm. 
but you gotta cook them. If you don't cook them down enough, they turn into rubbery mess. There we go. Delicious cauliflower rice with some mushrooms. Give it a stir. That's how we're looking with the cauliflower rice. You're gonna add in Taco seasoning, just a little bit. Flavor. We can use a little more salt. Too much sauce, but it's okay, I won't need it. Cauliflower rice helps. Helps it. Help it cook. This taco sauce, guys, it's delicious. Let me show you for these guys to Little puppies. Look at that. Look at these meatballs, guys. Don't they look just delicious? Look at that. That is what you want. Add it to the oil without splashing yourself. Remember, the oil is hot. Very careful if you do this because the oil is super, super hot. So be very, very careful, guys. And I believe we lost one. Ah, 
there it is. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some of that all right up. Taco sauce, same one that we use for the cauliflower rice. A little bit. We're gonna start out with that much. And then you guys can only add more, less taco sauce. Totally 100% to your taste. Buds. Delicious. Now with that, I'm going to also add in some ground garlic just to give it that garlickiness. that one sadly look at that Again, these are just ground turkey, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of taco sauce, a little bit of put them in the toaster oven first for about 20 minutes, flipping them twice, and then with that, I will also have some cauliflower rice with the same taco seasoning. Cauliflower rice looks done, looks perfect. So we're gonna turn that off. Now we're just waiting on the meatballs. Again, these are just ground turkey, salt, pepper, garlic, and breadcrumbs. I use seasoned breadcrumbs, but you guys, if you guys don't like the seasoned breadcrumbs, you guys can use whatever you like. So look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video this was a little bit of a long one but i really enjoyed cooking so i thought i wish i would share it with you guys please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everybody peace the next one is going to be a triple unboxing off of Amazon, I'm waiting for the stuff to come in to be in there within the next hour. So, I'll see you guys.
later. Bye, everybody. Peace out.